Hi, Barb Crompton here. I'm taking another pause. This is all what this series is about is pausing for a few minutes in life and restoring your body to health. We sit so much with our spine rounded in the other direction that it's really important to spend some time in the position called extension. This is stretching the spine in the opposite way so that we have full functioning and we don't sit. Some of us go to work and sit all day. Then some of us come home, sit in our car, and then sit and eat dinner and watch TV or read. Oh, that poor spine, it gets locked in one direction. So by sitting here and maybe reading your iPad, maybe you've got a book on your iPad with a straight head, or your favorite book, hold that position. You might choose after a while to take it a little bit further. So we walk our hands forward and see if there's any more room in your spine, squeezing the shoulder blades down, keeping your chin in line, not dragging it or not lifting it up, looking straight forward. You might choose to try that for a minute and then go back down to your elbows. Or if it gets too much for your body and you are your greatest teacher, you can come down to here, which is still an extension position. So we've developed flexibility of the spine, but the spine also has to be strong. We actually were not meant to stand up on two legs. We should have been on all four as the structure of our spine. So the back must be strengthened. All the muscles that are along the spine, called the rectus spinae, wants to be strengthened. So instead of using any part of your upper body, I want you just to use your lower back. Because sometimes one side of our body is stronger than the other, we do individual parts. So I'd like you to just tuck your chin, forehead into ground, arms down by your side, and lift the leg up, straight leg, and pull the leg out of the hip, then flex the heel and lift up, keeping both hips steadily on the ground. Don't let them. And you hold that pose with your forehead into the ground as long as your body will allow you to do it. And we breathe in the pose and we relax and feel the sensation in your lower back as you strengthen it. Once you've gone as far as your body can take you in this strengthening position, you bring both hands underneath, you turn towards that left side, and you pull that kneecap up to take the spine in the opposite direction. And you can hear when it actually releases and comes back out of that pose. And then once again, we do the other side because we strengthen one side of our body, we have to make sure we strengthen the other. Bringing your forehead into ground and lifting your leg up first, and then reaching it out of the hip joint, and then going back once again to ensure both hips are square, keeping your forehead on the ground, once again, doing it as long as your body needs to. We're coming out of it probably sooner than most of you will. And when you're ready, once again, bring your hands underneath, turn to your right side, and bring the right kneecap up as you look. Now to release the spine, we have to take it in the other direction. And our child's pose is a beautiful way. We slowly move using the strength in our shoulders. Some of us will just stay here in what's called pensive child. We bring our elbows up and we turn our wrists in and we bring our eyes down. And this is where we have great thoughts that come out is in pensive child. It's good for the wrist too, for being on the computer. Or some of us might choose to go a little deeper by stretching our arms out in front and reaching into a deeper child's pose. Once again, you can feel exactly when it's time to come out of it because you are your greatest teacher and you do know. A flexible, strong spine is very important in life. Optimal health. It's a pause. Namaste.